Joe Rimmer, the football world, is talking about Luis Suarez biting someone again. Last night's incident in the game against Italy is going to be punished quite severely for this, we think, don't we? Yeah, I think so. I mean, a lot of the newspapers this morning are saying that he could be given an up to two-year ban from FIFA. And uh, we're not quite sure whether that includes club football and international football at this stage. It looks like it could just be international football. Because they have the power, though, don't they, yeah, to I make it so, club yeah. football yeah. as well. Yeah. So could he be out for the rest of the World Cup, essentially? Yeah, I, th I think I think we're certainly looking at the, at the rest of the World Cup. Um, it's just you know, a real terrible incident. And we're all in disbelief, once again. Because this is the third time this has happened. It happened at Ajax, it happened at Liverpool when he bit Branislav Ivanovic last March mm -hmm. and now again is this defensible? No it's not I mean I, we just can't work out what goes through this man's brain you know when, when, when these things happen it's obviously a reaction there's obviously something wrong with him as soon as he cross, crosses that line he just changes and to do that for the third time he's just he can't be thinking because he must know that he's going to let his country down he's let his club down he's let everyone down and he's going to lose his place in the World Cup and their, their best player is now at the World Cup so Uruguay probably won't stand the chance of really progressing too far in the competition Now what he's done as well he's all that work that he did after he was banned last time he was the PFA player of the year the player writer of the year he was really a, a reformed character a lot of people were saying that'll just be completely it's gone. false now it's gone. You know, that he, how does he come back from this? You know, do something once, people will forgive you. Do something twice, people might just forgive you. But a third time, it's just, it's just ridiculous, and I just don't see how he comes back from this. Now, Brendan Rodgers is in the United States. We understand at the moment. Now, there will probably be calls going on between Liverpool's directors and Brendan. Mm -hmm. What should the club do? Well, it's a big one, isn't it? You know, do they sell him? Could they sell him? You know, will they still get the same sort of fee that they they would have got before this incident? They probably won't. Um, from a from a point of view, you should sell him. Really, you know, they should sell him. But at the same time, Liverpool fans will be sad to see him go. And you know, you, people might criticise him for that, but that's part of football. You know, you don't want to see your best player go. But. I don't know what the club does now. They're going to have to really think long and hard about what they do next. Now, you're manning the Liverpool Echoes, mm -hmm. Liverpool FC live blog today, and we're going to be all over this, aren't we? Yeah, it's, it's going to be continuing right throughout the day, right throughout the next few weeks, probably. You know, It's not. It's the only thing people are really talking about on Twitter. There's not a lot else going on. It's just England's performance last night has been totally forgotten. You know, Another terrible performance by them. But yeah, off the hook. Yeah, but they've, they've totally been overshadowed by, by Lewis Suarez once again. And it's just going to be continuing right throughout the day on the live blog, on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere.